Where are you? At the doctor. You're at the doctor's office? Yeah, what's happening today? Today Take your hands down, baby. Today okay. a flu shot. You're getting a flu shot? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Are you nervous? No, you big boy? Yeah, you're not gonna cry, right? That's what? Hi, Sarah Ellen. Are you gonna get a flu shot too? Yes. yes. Are you gonna cry? No, actually, you probably are. You probably will. But it's okay, because we're gonna play our Doc McStuffin song. Oh, look, they have it. We are gonna cue it up, all right? Want mommy to be a doctor? <laughs> all right, we can't let this whole song play on YouTube because they're gonna get us. I want mom to do what it do. We just came from uh, getting the flu shots. Got you some extra ones. Sissy, did you cry? Say no. No. You didn't even cry. Carter, did you cry? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. You didn't cry? So they didn't cry at all. This is a quick and painless. Right, Sissy? Carter's running away. Hey guys, so it is Saturday, October 28th. I have a couple of errands to run today and then we're gonna be going to my parents house for dinner later this evening so I just gave Sarah Ellen a bath and I washed and conditioned her hair which was not a fun process I just want to put a disclaimer that I really don't know how to do hair <laughs> I really don't but I'm trying to learn she doesn't like the whole wash and condition process but she does really well with me like styling her hair she's generally good as you can see she's already sitting in her chair hi mama hi baby girl her hair is semi dry because it dries really fast so i'm going to be working with a couple of things i have a spray bottle with some water i don't use kitty products in her hair i just don't really feel like they work well for her hair so i generally use either the same products that i use for myself or things that i was experimenting with me that didn't work well for my hair sometimes works better in her hair because she has a looser curl pattern than i do and her hair is much more finer than my hair is i have her different hair bowls out and then to part her hair i use a rat tail comb i can generally detangle her hair with just a wide tooth comb but sometimes i also use a demon brush this gets her curls like completely popping products that i use after i wash her hair i use the cantu leave-in conditioner and then her hair responds really well to the cantu moisturizing curl activator cream my hair doesn't really like this but her hair thrives with this stuff in it. When I first wash her hair, I'll put some coconut oil in it and then like every few days, I will just moisturize it with some coconut oil. So that's pretty much it. Let's get started. I won't be doing anything groundbreaking to her hair, so don't go and get your pen and paper. Don't um, put this in your saved videos files because <laughs> I'm not doing anything crazy. Emery's back there knocked out he had to work last night i told him to go in the room and go lay down in the bed so he can get some real decent sleep but he wanted to be out here with all the chaos so oh boy i should have never brought all of these things out you love your hair oh yes mommy okay a little spray and then we'll put a little sorry sorry she does not like the water. You put a little bit of the leave-in conditioner in your hair. Get it all nice and soft. And especially the back. Get that kitchen. Get your kitchen. Don't touch my hair. When it's the feelings I wear. Don't touch my soul. It's a rhythm I know. Don't touch my crown. All right, guys. 
so there's the final product. Like I said, this is nothing groundbreaking. As you can see, that Cantu curl activator really gets her curls popping and going. And I try not to pull over here because her hair is still growing in on the sides. I don't put the puffs in too tight. And I leave the baby hairs out because you want to preserve her edges and not have her experience hair loss at such a young age but that's it that's how I do my baby's hair hey guys so I stepped out the house really really quick the kids are napping and Emery is getting ready so that we can head out and really start our day but I'm at the post office now I'm gonna go inside real quick I have a feeling that this line is gonna be ridiculous because the parking lot is packed but I have to mail out my godson's Halloween little, you know, care package that I'm sending him. Gotta mail it out today in order for it to get to him on time. So this is what I got him the other day while I was in Target. I got this little Halloween Paw Patrol book. And then I just put together, um, my car is filthy. Like I have a mom car, it's disgusting, so don't mind. But in here I have like a little granola bar. There's some goldfish, raisins, and a pack of Paw Patrol food snacks. This is a little trick-or-treat bag. And then, you know, I gotta have a little note. And it says, to Kai, trick-or-treat, you sure are sweet. Here's some Halloween snacks to eat and a Paw Patrol book to enjoy too, just to show that we love you. And I just put down that is from Carter, Sarah Ellen, and me. I didn't put Emery on there because Emery's not his godfather, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Smoothie time. Emery makes all the smoothies in this house. He's the smoothie master. So how was your trip to Target? Cause you came back with a lot of stuff that wasn't on the list. I didn't come back with a lot of stuff that wasn't on the list. First of all, Rick, Rick, what do with it? Good people out there. You too. Number two, I didn't come out there with a lot of stuff with more stuff that was on the list. All I came back with extra was checks. Oh, was well, extra. that was actually supposed to be on the list. I forgot to put that on there. Checks was extra because they were two for five. Uh huh. And Jenga. We've been wanting that for Sarah. a really long time. Hey. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You're being disrespectful. <laughs> you mm. eating a snack? Uh, yeah? Uh, where's With, my vlog camera? Where's your vlog camera? I don't know, honey. You have to keep up with your stuff. Didn't even know you had a vlog camera. Go check your room. I don't know. I don't know where you put it. Yeah, we've been wanting Jenga for a while, though. Yeah. So. And it's a rainy day here in New York City. Okay. Sunday, October 29th. No. So Halloween is in two days. No. Why are you bothering her? You know she don't like people like that. She barely likes us. <laughs> Daddy bothering you? Okay, Lamont, please, please. She woke up in a good mood. Oh my god. Okay. All right, hugs. You better? You got you got you got a goldfish? Yeah? yeah. What colors you got? Hmm? It it's no okay. Just leave her alone. It's no pink in there though. She I'm is like the sleeping bear that you don't You can't want get out? You need help? Go to ahead. Bother. You don't want to poke them. You don't poke a sleeping bear. You just don't. I saw the fox. Oh boy. This story again? Yeah, I don't know the story about the fox, but... <sighs> it's a fox. How do you spell fox? Yes, I did spell fox. How do you spell fox, Carl? Okay. What color was the fox? He did not see a real fox. What color was the fox? In his mind, he thinks he saw a real fox. What color was the fox, Carter? He was eating me. <laughs> but what color was he? Eat him, but in his mind, he thinks that the 
Fox. This Fox was at Target that he saw. Yeah, this Fox was at Target. It was a uh, mask. It was Sarah, Ellen, wait, 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 whoa, whoa. Wow, you're going to eat that's you. But this okay. boy, yeah. and it happened about a month ago, but this boy tells it as if it happened today. Yeah. So, anyway, Emery's technically on vacation. Today, we have done nothing. It's been a lazy day, which I'm happy about because sometimes you just need those days. And Halloween is in two days. We usually do. A so, family costume every year. So, Insert picture here. Insert picture. And hey, dogs. Insert pictures from 2015. Insert pictures from 2016. And now this year, we are not doing a family costume. It just happened that way. But we are still going to dress the kids up. Sarah Ellen's going to be Minnie Mouse this year. And Carter, Carter, what are you? What do you do, Carter? What are you? What do you want to be when you grow up? Hmm? What do you want to be? A fire spider. That's right. So Carter is, you want up, up? So Carter is completely obsessed with all things firefighter. Um, so he's going to be a firefighter for Halloween. And Carter has, okay, okay, okay. Part of his Halloween costume, we're gonna DIY and make him a. Part of his Halloween costume right here. <laughs> a box of diapers. Right here. <laughs> so that's gonna be his fire engine. So, what happened in Target? So, on my trip to Target. He was being a creep. I wasn't being a creep. I came here to talk. I don't know. They've been having the damnedest time keeping. Almond milk on the shelves. Every time we go there, the almond milk is like empty or it's like one or two containers left. Even like the Target almond milk is gone. Which tastes the same as the name. Which tastes the same as the almond breeze and as the um the silk almond milk. So as I'm walking to the the milk section of Target, I can already see that it's one of those days where it's completely empty. I get closer and it's this lady. She got a shopping cart next to her. <laughs> the baby's in the shopping cart. The boyfriend or the husband or whatever is they're standing there. And they're talking. But they're like right in front of the door and they're talking. Like trying to figure out which milk they're going to get because they don't see the milk they want. Cause like I said, the section is always empty. And would you believe I get all the way up there and I'm like, alright. It's one almond milk left of the Target brand. I'm like, I'm with it. I'm about to go reach and grab it. This hee-haw reaches in, gets the almond milk that I want, puts it in the car. Now, that should have been the end of the story, but my mind starts racing. And I'm thinking, I could technically reach in that shopping cart <laughs> while I turned around and grab the almond milk out. <laughs> Horrible. Even though I'm not supposed to, but I'm not stealing. I didn't leave the store with it and they didn't pay for it yet. So if I wanted to, I could have took it. The only thing that stopped me is they had a baby in the car. The only thing? That's the yes. only thing. Because I, every time I passed them, I was looking in their car to see <laughs> like, like how I was I going to take this milk. That's the only thing that stopped me. I didn't want nobody to say, yo, he tried to take, he was reaching for my baby and that like that. And then the last time I saw them, I was going to, I was going to take it. But like her pocketbook, the straps like over the milk. Once again, I didn't want him to think I was stealing nobody's pocketbook. So I left it alone. But I, I was I was seriously contemplating taking that milk out that yeah, car. Yeah, mess. I mean, yes, we don't drink cow's milk anymore in this house. But you don't have to go that hard for the almond milk. It's okay. Because then more I, had to get, I had to get the silk. Like, I got the silk almond milk. But it's like the light almond. And like, I don't know, I feel like it has the aftertaste to it. Can't nobody tell you you don't go hard for your family. I was about to, man, that stuff was, I was about to be mine. <laughs> she don't even know. She don't even know how close she came. He don't know. They don't know how close. That baby don't know how close it came from being oh jacked. Oh my god. And then people say, oh, they got a baby. Well, I got babies here too, and they need milk too. <laughs> if I reached in your car and you caught me, like, would you have been mad or like? <laughs> Would you have been big mad or little mad? Yeah, because I would have gave you the story like, oh my god, my my, my kids are sick at home and they just, they're allergic to regular, milk? they're allergic to regular, <laughs> but they, they call almonds the only thing that make them better. 
Oh. Man, if somebody had reached in my car, I would have smacked the crap out of them. You did not pay for I, it. It don't yet. matter. I picked it up. It's in my car. If somebody takes something out of my car, even though I didn't pay for it yet, it's not going to be a good day in that store. But let me know. <laughs> let me know what y'all would have done if y'all were on the receiving side or if y'all were him. Let us know in the comments. <laughs>